Filipino lawyer Jude Sabio files a complaint against Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte before the International Criminal Court Monday for alleged mass murder in the Philippines. Sabio asks the pretrial chamber of the ICC to, quote, commit President Rodrigo Duterte and his senior government officials to the trial chamber for trial. He says the trial chamber should convict them and sentence them to corresponding prison sentences or life imprisonment. Sabio cites the murder of at least 1,400 people by the alleged Davao Death Squad when Duterte was Davao City Mayor. He also mentions the killing of at least 7,000 people in Duterte's war on drugs. He adds Duterte has been undertaking mass murder repeatedly, unchangingly, and continuously in the Philippines. Sabio addresses the complaint to Patud Bensuda, prosecutor at the ICC in The Hague, Netherlands. He titled his complaint, The Situation of Mass Murder in the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, the Mass Murderer. President Rodrigo Duterte picks his common-law wife, Hanilet Avancena, to be the official hostess of the spouses of heads of government attending the 30th Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit on Saturday. The First Lady or family members of the Philippine President are typically chosen to play the part of hostess for the spouses of visiting heads of government. Ambassador Marciana Panyor Jr., ASEAN 2017 Organizing Committee Chief, says around five spouses are so far expected to fly to Manila for the event. Avancenia is scheduled to bring the spouses to a tour of the Metropolitan Museum of Manila on Saturday. She will then host a lunch for them. This won't be Avancenia's first time to host a spouse of a country leader. When Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited Davao City last January, she escorted his wife, Aki Abe, to visit memorials and the Japanese cemetery there. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa on Monday confirms reports a police officer was detained in Clarin, Bohol, for supposedly planning to rescue Abu Sayyaf members being pursued by government forces in the area. News reports say police officer Maria Cristina Nobleza was detained Saturday after attempting to avoid a police checkpoint in Clarin. Nobleza was reportedly inside a van driven by Reniero Dongon, who is suspected of links to the terror group. Government forces in Bohol are pursuing members of the ASG, following two armed encounters in the province. Nobleza is currently the deputy regional chief of the PNP Crime Laboratory in the Davao region. She claimed she was in Clarin for a vacation, but De La Rosa says their attempt to avoid the checkpoint raised suspicion. Investigators supposedly got her cell phone with a text message from an Abu Sayyaf member begging to be rescued. American soldiers participating in the first Balikatan exercises under President Rodrigo Duterte arrive in the Philippines. The annual joint exercises between the United States and Philippine militaries will formally begin on May 8. But the U.S. Embassy says preliminary work on community infrastructure projects have begun. The first Balikatan exercises under Duterte will focus on humanitarian assistance and disaster response and counterterrorism. Duterte previously threatened to scrap war games between the U.S. and the Philippine military, saying he wants to forge a foreign policy that is independent from the country's longtime treaty ally. So far, only the naval exercises in the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea were scrapped. Philippine Senator and boxing champion Manny Pacquiao on Monday says he plans to show he is not done yet when he defends his world title against Australian Jeff Horn in Brisbane in July. Pacquiao is in Australia to promote the fight. He says the bout with the undefeated Horn is an opportunity to prove he could continue to be a global force at the age of 38 as he juggles boxing with a full-time job in politics. Pacquiao says, quote, I'm still handling my boxing career. I'm still there. I'm not done yet in boxing. But the neophyte senator admits he doesn't know much about his next opponent. He says, quote, I haven't watched his fights yet, but I'm going to get his last three fights and watch them. Mm-hmm.